the main objective of this master class if you look at it it's to actually enable the participants to understand the core purpose of the research apart from publishing research papers or so so publishing research papers is not bad but making it more impactful linking it to uh, our day to day life problem solving and new product development how the journey looks like so what is that place where maximum number of ideas die where it comes mind we keep we keep suppressing we keep killing ideas as we speak in last 6 or 7 minutes you might have killed i don't know n number of ideas you might have killed n number of ideas it's not about generic ideas that what i'm going to do after 8 o'clock it's about something new ideas also and that's the place if you see and i'm not saying this the research says this that in our mind and the reason for it what all of you said that we have that fear of ki i might not get funding people will laugh at me we normally have that concept of there is something called as group think when you sit in a group and you say and somebody says okay tu you please keep quiet you always keep talking like this tu chhod de <laughs> like that and with that fear uh, i will not be capable of bringing it to market so and because of all these factors normally we keep killing the ideas in mind what is that this slide uh, talks about it's more about what research we are actually trying to pursue in lab or what we are thinking of is it really meaningful is it going to help societal needs are we solving any problem are we solving solving any day to day life problem it can be anything it can be for a specific group of people are we trying to cater to that yeah so that should be the direction so the slide talks about the direction of the research and the dimensions of the research industry of course uh, we will have someone talking on how industry comes in picture when you take the ideas from lab to market it also talk talks about technology and society linkage so technology keeps impacting upon society and the other way society also kept impacting upon technology look at our life today so we have a lot of technological products which have also created problem so we are using mobile phone then people are talking about mobile towers are creating problem for someone even not for birds also for human beings and then there is someone who is coming of a technology that it will reduce this number of radiations or so like that we had uh, so petrol and diesel vehicles and it created problems and then we had lot of other products or technology coming in picture where we started reducing those particular problem so it's always like that so we keep so is the research actually trying to cater to societal needs at that particular time and their industry support also comes in picture if industry is not going to support that then lab research might not be very fruitful research and if lab research is not going to actually go and collaborate with industry professionals and looking at practical needs then it is not going to be meaningful if you are just publishing three page research papers it might not help also yeah that is what uh, actually i was trying to uh, signify here so these are stages uh, maybe some of you are aware about this but my for uh, young students here who are from uh, different uh, streams or faculty coming here so there is always a first stage which is problem identification we call it uh, that we see a problem it can be something like we have students from medical college so it can be bedside assistant which is given to patient where we can observe some problem it can be some other operational issue in the hospital yeah where we are routing patients or how you are queuing them it may be a operational issue you can look at or it can be some other problem where uh, in general when we go out and you are traveling and you are trying to uh, get some information and you are not getting it. it can be anything yeah so for problem identification definition we have to prove that the problem is big enough which needs to be solved and which will impact actually if we solve it then the next stage is actually looking for opportunities and then you have to develop a proof of concept then you come to the next stage mvp and then you come to the next stage pilot so problem identification to proof of concept you require lot of primary and secondary research to be conducted yeah what is secondary research what you see so secondary research is not only any particular web page or so okay what somebody else has done what we read through maybe research papers articles and different sources that is secondary in primary actually we go on field and we actually study that problem detail when we experience that particular problem and through that then we move ahead with some developing some solutions to the problem because unless we study it or prove that there is a problem most of the times we fail actually to define the problem correctly yeah so that is very important to define the problem correctly and then we can actually start developing some solutions 
the problem is that even we have seen in industry in all industries uh, i hope the industry professional sitting here would agree we are in so hurry that we jump to the conclusions or we jump to the root cause so quickly so in this whole journey if you look at it, it's not the final stage or pilot is the toughest the first stage is the toughest again to prove that there is a problem and to identify the problem correctly that is very very important and once that is done i think next stage is uh, just that you need some hand holding or you need some support or you need maybe a lab equipment where you can actually go ahead so there is a model which we actually developed and we actually advocate this model for entrepreneurs or budding entrepreneurs or wannabe entrepreneurs what we say that somebody who wants to do something which is very simple there is no as such it's not a model it's very simple steps that you are going through a situation so day in day out we actually face a situation where you are traveling here from your home to a place it's a situation like that observe study the situation identify the problem behind every problem there is an opportunity hidden that's where the entrepreneur mindset comes in picture or the innovator mindset comes in picture to find out opportunities hidden behind the problems and then you start developing some new solution we call it spos so in day in day out uh, for pursuing research or to be an innovator you might be thinking do you need to sit in lab do you need to conduct lot of uh, secondary research uh, do you need to sit for 16 hours with something uh, the answer is no the answer is that do you practice spos are you observing situations are you trying to understand the situation and understand the problem is it a universal problem are you trying to define that yes in this situation normally yes this problem can be actually uh, defined that many people or at many places same problem can be actually uh, faced and then this is the problem where we can actually think of some opportunity so that's possible so you need not to be in laboratory actually to pursue research also if your eyes are open you start wearing the lens so i call it if you start wearing the spos lens maybe you can start looking at the problems and you start wearing another lens where you start thinking about okay i can solve and this is where spos kind of things help that the point where we started this discussion that we start we actually keep killing the ideas but if we wear the spos lens we might st start storing some ideas so uh i invite you to maybe to start wearing this kind of lens where we start actually uh, storing some ideas which might we might keep out abeyance for some research to prove it or to discuss with someone because collaboration is also important complementary skill set is also very very important for researchers to come together and do something so that is my invitation to all of you uh many times we get a question that where to find out opportunities that i really want to do something yeah especially the business school students here would uh, look for that the healthcare management students so where to find out opportunities where to find out i really want to do something but i don't know how to start what is happening in industry what kind of trends are there and how entrepreneurial mindset i not say entrepreneurs because entrepreneurship is mindset how an innovator entrepreneurial mindset start actually catching those trends studying those trends and develop something which link he links to his capabilities or develops new capabilities actually to work upon it so this is the place i will suggest so we need to know the macroeconomic scenario market forces market in general macroeconomic is very general but then you can actually pick up industry one particular industry what is happening in that particular industry like say for example you can think of like we have an industry coming up electric vehicle industry day in day out you read in newspaper or you get lot of things but this industry has its own ecosystem what are the trend it's not only about a vehicle being a non diesel or non petrol it's about so many different technologies which are linked to it it may be type of technology which the battery is getting manufactured or the battery is getting processed and the way you are going to charge it or so so there are hundreds of business opportunities around this particular industry we have to understand the trends what's happening and what is going to happen for next 20 years down the line so this kind of things uh, we normally advocate uh, if people say that okay where do i get more ideas where do i search for the problems so this is one uh, way where we can actually look at our external environment we call it and we can actually search for different opportunities for innovation so i think that's all from my side thank you